La Llorona. Story we know about the Llorona, the weeping woman. What I've heard about La Llorona. About La Llorona and how she hears her at night. La Llorona. La Llorona. La Llorona. I've never personally seen her in my life and I don't plan to see her. Yo, what's up, D-Vlog? BD Keto here. Thank you, bro, for asking me to be a part of your video. I want to thank David. My boy, David. David. For letting me be a part of this documentary about La Llorona. The story of La Llorona. It's another word for weeping woman. The weeping woman. The story goes is about a woman named Maria. She wears a long white dress. Really long, like gown like dress. She grew up in an extremely poor family in a small village in Mexico. She met a young, wealthy man and they got married. They have two kids together. Over time, her husband was losing his love for his wife. So one day, Maria spotted her husband with another woman. Maria was so devastated. Out of frustration or anger, she threw her two sons in the river. Drowned her kids in the river. She drowned her kids. She did drown her kids. And killed them. And once she realized that she killed her two sons, she started to get crazy. She felt so guilty. She began to feel regret. And she went after them. Oh, she threw herself in the river. She went into the river. Then killed herself. And she died. She died. Oh, she died. The story goes that people to this day still can't hear the whippy woman by the river. So it is said that you could hear her crying. She goes back to the river. I come so at night. Asking for her kids. She starts wandering, looking for her kids. She's like out there at night, screaming like, you know, that she wants her kids back. And she's looking for her kids at night. She goes, saying in Spanish, Ay, mis hijos. Donde están mis hijos? It's like a scary way, you know? The legend is telling us that if you hear the weeping woman by the river, the best thing to do is run. Um, I'm going to share with you guys the story that I have. Um, it happened when I was a child. I was in like first grade, so I don't know what age that <laughs> accumulates to. But I was in first grade. I went to Puebla, Mexico. We have a house out there. Um, I went for a whole week and it was me, my cousin, my other cousin, so two of my cousins, a young girl that lives in the house while we're away was also there and then her very little baby sister was with us. We would always play all day till it got dark and the weird thing out there in Puebla it goes from like sunset dim and then black like super dark gets dark really quick. We were playing the sun starts setting and then it's just pitch black and um, one of the girls started telling us a scary story the older one she was talking about La Llorona and how she hears her at night and that she's seen her before. We were all just like we don't want to hear about that right now. <laughs> but we were just all tripping out, like, oh, no way. I wonder if we'll hear her. And sure enough, as soon as she stopped telling that story, we heard we heard a lady wailing. It, it sounded a lot like this, like, and it was very long. It was very long like that. And it sounded echoey and super loud, like so loud. Weird thing is it sounded like it was coming from above us. Like usually um, when you hear spirits or ghosts or whatever, demons, <laughs> it sounds leveled most of the time. Like you hear it in your ear, you hear it behind you or like just like weird stuff like that. Uh, this was very much above us. <laughs> and I remember all of us just looking up like and looking at each other and we were just like, <gasps> And she like, she was the first one to bounce out of there. She like flew to her side of the house. She had her own little house and then we had ours. And yeah, it was pretty spooky. I remember I was in shock. I was really scared. Me and my cousins were into the main house where we uh, slept with my grandparents and stuff. And I remember us just like, <laughs> like what, what did we just experience? Um, we also saw her, I forgot to mention, we saw a lady hovering and it was like, really long like gown like dress i'm not sure if it was long sleeve and um she had really long dark hair and it was like everywhere like in front of her face i think it was just like black hair she was just like like coming down like just like grabbing steps like uh, and we just bounced out of there yeah that was my experience with la Llorona. one story i know of Her kids, and if she sees 
supposedly what they say, the urban legend is that if she sees any kids, she takes them and then thinking they're her own because she's looking for her kids and basically drowns them in the river. So that's what the urban legend is. I don't know about you guys. Personally, I believe in the Yorona. I remember when I was little, my grandparents, my grandma, I was since I was born in Mexico, all the kids would always like be scared of the Yorona. Like my parents would scare me, my grandma, my grandpa saying like the Yorona was gonna get us. Any stories you have art? I don't really believe in it personally. <laughs> you don't believe in it? You're not a real Mexican. My parents would tell me if I wouldn't, you know, listen, they would tell me like Oh, she's gonna come and take you, you know, at night, um, and she's gonna drown you. She's gonna do the exact same thing she did to her kids, to you, because you're you're not listening, you know. And I would get scared, like I'm not the one. <laughs> I've heard also like stories that if you're out at night, you know, and she's obviously looking for like her kids, and if she thinks someone, like a little kid, is her child she'll catch him or get him however and do the exact same thing like drown them and it's pretty scary stuff you just know you're not truly hispanic or latino if you don't know or ever heard about the story of la llorona so if you've heard it when you were a little kid that was some childhood i have heard and read about there being one in Colton, like Agua Mansa. I'm pretty sure it's not the same La Llorona, I think it's a different one. There's a lot of unmarked uh, graves. Yeah, it's very haunted, it's an 18th century cemetery. And I'm sure angry spirits or demons, whatever resides there. But I did have a crazy experience with Agua Mansa. That place is haunted, please don't go there for the sake of your sanity and life. Just don't, don't go there, it's... I don't know if I'll ever go back, honestly. A part of me wants to, just like during the day, and another part of me is like, there's no way in hell I will go back. You hear that? Hold on.